Over the last few years, I've developed this obscure hobby of accruing airline miles and credit card points. For my birthday, I cashed out and booked a trip to South Africa. The ticket only cost $120, and I flew around the entire planet in first and business class. This is how. I'm at SeaTac right now in Seattle. Today is the first of basically two full days of traveling. I'm literally going all the way around the entire planet, little Earth lap, so it's gonna be wild. This will work. After weeks of planning, I was stoked to finally be flying in this amazing first class seat for less than I paid for my ride to the airport. May I leave for the shipping? Um, yes please. If you're thinking, you gotta fill me in on the miles thing, what is that about? Let me back up and explain. I don't spend a nickel if I can help it unless it somehow profits my mileage account. So what are you saving up for, Hawaii? It's not like that. The miles are the goal. I travel frequently for work and I do earn a lot of miles from flying. What's your total? That's a personal question. Oh, please. But most of my miles come from credit cards. I have 10 right now. Come on, impress me. Paying for things with the right card can earn you even more points per dollar, which can then be used to book even more travel. Come on. Let's just say I have a number in mind. I haven't hit it yet. In addition to sign-up bonuses for opening new cards, there are lots of ways to earn more miles from the spending you're already doing. Most importantly, you don't need to spend a million dollars a year to travel like a millionaire. Every time I fly in premium cabins, I get the royal treatment. This is class? Yep, yeah, please. It's gotten to a point where I can't really live without it. I have global entry. I breeze through like George Clooney and up in the air. Oh, this is right. The experience comes with amenity kits, added privacy. I see how it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do mine too then, all right? Designer pajamas, and of course, the delicious meals and free drinks. You also get access to swanky lounges where you can shower, eat Turkish bagels, play pool, and even golf. So how can you do this too? I don't scam airlines, I just take advantage where there are holes. Like all skills, this takes time and commitment to learn, but here's what you need to get started. Good credit. Without it, you won't be approved for the credit cards. You get good credit by paying your bills in full every month and never carrying a balance. Attention to detail. Make sure you're using the right card for every transaction and taking advantage of easy opportunities to earn extra points through promotions. And time. When you buy these expensive airline tickets with points, it can feel like you're getting them for free, but it can take hours or even days of searching to find the flights you want. Once you make a big redemption, you'll realize it was all worth the effort. And when you are resting comfortably in that luxury seat, with a beverage of choice and on your way toward adventure, well, it doesn't get much better than that. Thanks for watching guys. As you can probably imagine, this stuff is always changing and new offers pop up weekly. So. I try and stay on top of it and pass that info along through Instagram stories, etc. So be sure to follow along so you don't miss out on new offers and easy ways to earn tons of miles. Peace. What the heck? <laughs> Getting gassed out.